Hello guys. Welcome back, all of you. Today, we will learn about orthographic projections used in engineering drawings. This video will help you to understand the basic concepts of orthographic projections, which are first and third angle projections. Okay. Let's begin. First of all, what is a projection? Projection is an image or drawing of an object made on a plane. The lines that form the object to the plane are called projectors. Please take a look at this image of what I am talking about. In engineering drawing, there are four methods of projection that are commonly used. They are Orthographic projection Isometric projection Oblique projection And perspective projection we will talk about only the orthographic projection here. Take a look at this tree diagram for other projection methods for your information. Then, what is orthographic projection? When the projectors are parallel to each other and also perpendicular to the plane, the projection is called orthographic projection. In orthographic projection, an object is represented by two or three views on the mutual perpendicular projection planes, each projection view represents two dimensions of an object. Please look at this example and get some idea for now. We can represent an orthographic projection two to three views, and it's enough. Usually, the front, side, left or right, and plan view, also referred to as the top view, are drawn so that a person looking at the drawing can see all the important sides. The planes, which are employed for orthographic projections, are called reference planes or planes of projection. The main two planes are the vertical plane, usually denoted as VP, and the horizontal plane, usually denoted as HP, which intersect each other perpendicularly to form the four quadrants. Four quadrants are named according to anti-clockwise direction, starting from the first quadrant. In addition, we can have two side vertical planes for side views. Having only one side plane is enough for the representation. You can choose either the left or right side plane according to the requirement. Left slash right depends on where the viewer is. The viewer always looks in this direction as his front side. Then, respectively other sides are as like this. Alright. Let's look at the two major projections under orthographic projection. The first one is the first angle projection, which is represented by this symbol. In the first angle projection, the projection plane lies behind the object. In other words, the object is between the projection plane and the viewer. This method is more commonly used in India, Canada and Europe. The second one is the third angle projection, which is represented by this symbol. In the third angle projection, the projection plane is in between the object and the viewer. In the other words, the viewer is looking through the projection plane. This method is more widely used in USA, UK and Australia. Well, let's look at this in our projection plane space. We will begin with the first angle projection. This is my object. This is the standard object used for symbolic representation. So, it is in our first quadrant. My viewer is in here and is looking at the front view of the object. There is no plane between the object and the viewer. Just as per the first angle projection definition. Let's see how he sees the front view. So, this is how he sees, and he will project it onto the vertical plane behind the object. Right, let's look from the above. Let's rotate the view like this. Here is how the viewer sees the top view of the object. 
and he projects it onto the horizontal plane below the object. Now, he goes for the side view. As I said earlier, there are two side views. Let's look from the front view again. This is the viewer's front point of view. If he stands here, this side will be his left side. And this will be his right side. So, if he looks from the left side and draws it in the right side vertical plane, as this is the first angle view, it will be his left side view. Similarly, if he looks from the right side and draws it in the left side vertical plane, it will be his right side view. As only one side view is enough for the representation, I will look from the left side and draw it in the right side plane here, as this is the first angle view. Let's see what it looks like. Right. I drew three views of the object in these three planes. The front view, top view, and side view are here. Now, we will rotate this horizontal plane view 90 degrees clockwise. Please remember that we cannot rotate the vertical plane and can rotate the horizontal plane clockwise, as per the rules. We can rotate the side vertical planes by 90 degrees to align with the main vertical plane. So, finally, the first angle projection views look like this in the 2D plane. An easy trick to remember first angle view drawing is that the top view is always below the front view of the drawing. What do you remember if I take out these two views together? You are correct. This is our symbolic representation of the first angle view. Alright, let's move into the next projection. Our object is placed in the third quadrant at the third angle projection. Do you remember what the definition of the third angle view is? That's right. The projection plane is in between the object and the viewer. So, our viewer is here, watching the front view. Let's see how he sees it. Now, he will draw this view on the vertical plane. Let's move into the top view. Here is how he sees it. In the side view, we wanted to look through the plane too. So, I will look on the left side and draw it on the left side plane. And now, we have the three views here. The front view, the top view and the side view. Finally, as I did earlier, I will rotate the planes into a 2D plane. Remember the rules. Only horizontal plane and side vertical plane. 
and the horizontal plane is clockwise. Now, here is what it looks like. An easy trick to remembering the third angle view drawing is that the top view is always above the front view of the drawing. What do you remember if I take out these two views together? You are correct. This is our symbolic representation of the third angle view. So, that's it, guys. I will put some reference links for you to follow in the description. Please go through them. And if you have any questions or doubts, please put them in the comments. Most importantly, don't forget to subscribe to the channel if find this video helpful to you. Until next time. Goodbye, all. Thank you.